spike from the grassy high She had a baby when she was real young Her best friend is a skinhead chick She knows an Asian boy named Yick Caitlin, she is very chic But I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike And I am still in love with that girl named Spike You're listening to, the, you're listening to the I'm in love with a girl named Spike A Degrassi podcast, I'm your host Mike Park, along with my co-host Hannah Eagle. Oh, hello. And Rick Johnson. Rock and roll. We, <laughs> we're on episode 152, the Neutron Dance. Neutron like Dance. The, Anna, Neutron like Dance. Um, no idea. Like, I, you know? think, I think it's the Pointer Sisters. You are right? correct. Whew. I wasn't sure at first. I was like, Neutron I, I, Dance. I thought you were going to do the whoo. Right there, it would have been the classic if you would have. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't think of the melody. You're but not fun and doing the neutron dance. I've never heard that song before. I feel like it was on maybe Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack. Oh, that sounds that sounds like it very well could have been. I could, I could be wrong. Facts. You could be I, wrong also. Very weird song for this uh, episode, maybe. Maybe a weird song title. I'm going to just get this out right away. I, after watching this, I went ahead and watched the next four episodes. Ooh. I'm I'm not so hot on what's going on after this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hot on what's going on. You After mean? going through just, I don't know. Do you after, feel that? I think do you, after do you feel, Rick's, yeah, go ahead. Do you feel that they should have left it on Jimmy getting shot? That should have been the season finale? I I don't For know sure. if that should have been the finale, but I just feel like there's it's some a, weird stuff like of nor, normality, normality after Jimmy getting shot. I, I think I, in particular, I'm thinking of the spinner. I'm just thinking of Spinner in particular. Uh, I wrote that down too. I was like, everyone's being shockingly calm. Um, but nobody, like, nobody knows about yeah. Spinner and Jay. Well, yeah. Spinner, Spinner knows. But they know yeah. that Jimmy's like, can't move his legs. I don't know. Well, yeah, but they don't know that Spinner caused the shooting yet. I right? But Spinner knows. Well, Spinner yeah, knows. but he's... He's, he's being kind toy- of a dick. He's, he's acting out. in a way, yeah. Yeah, I, I will say, getting <coughs> the school shooting was a weird episode, like four. <laughs> That's a weird choice four, to put it there. Four it's out like, of like 14 or 13? Yeah, it seems like just built for a finale and they didn't do it that way. That's true. I forgot about the, the strength of finales. It could have been, been a season three finale, I think. Yeah, yeah. that would that would have been great. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been so great. I ha- I can't remember what happens next. This you can spoil it for me and the listeners because fuck it. Um, <laughs> does yeah. Spinner does Spinner come out that he caused the shooting? I believe it comes okay. to light. Cool. Yeah, it yeah. comes to light. Cool. Great. Which to so, me is hey, like I forget how, and it almost I, seems like how would it come to light? But I feel like I feel like he should have gone to jail. Maybe him in jail. Jay should have gone to jail. I don't know if that that it's. Exactly yeah. the time. I, I don't know if that's a, j- a jailable. Offense. Just a well, dirty lie. Maybe. Uh, there's no way. Yeah. Or Jimmy's parents should have sued Jay and uh, Spinner. True. That, that would have stuck. <laughs> would it have? I don't know. Yeah. Parents are pretty rich. Yeah, they hire the right lawyer. I mean, they don't have any money, but. That's what I was watching ahead. I was trying to see if I knew he was eventually is going to become common knowledge that he was the perpetrator of of Jimmy's uh, disability per se. But I did not find it. I finally fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Hannah started off for us. How does this start? Uh, well, we have a new band. It's the same band. It's just it's minus same. Jimmy. Yeah, it's minus Jimmy. He's in the hospital. Right? He's Were they the always ho- Mysticles? I don't know. Maybe they. Ch- maybe there's some 
rigmarole going on that they can't play in the same talent show twice for the ten thousand dollars so they had to change it from downtown sasquatch to this and i think it goes back to downtown sasquatch later but mystically is like that sucks but also um, that could be the reason why the marco and spinner are like ash has got to go yeah. yeah besides the fact that she's like kind of annoying yeah no way no oh, way uh <laughs> They're they're not so good, but they're not oh terrible. Oh my god! No, they're terrible. Mike, Mike, as a yeah. uh, a ska aficionado, how how I don't much think he's were trying you, to play ska? He's absolutely trying to play ska. He is. I don't know what the rest of them are trying, trying to play. It's so bad. I mean, we know it works for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewind Back it. it up. Up. You gonna play yeah. it? Yeah, At no split. point did it even come, you know, in um, Billy Madison, when he says, At no point did you even come close to anything that could resemble an answer. <laughs> That's how I feel about this song. It has potential. It actually oh, yeah. has no potential. What am I talking about? Yeah. Okay, there's, here we go. There's so what? One, two, crap, four. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's so loud right now. Yeah, oh, it's that. bad. Uh, and they act like Mark's what, part. like because Jimmy's not there on second guitar. I guess so. It's kind of like more like. I feel like it has more like a police vibe. I don't yeah, know. but that's that could also. I mean, it's on the upbeat for sure. It's yeah, not you're a right. downbeat. You're right. You're right. I'm mesmerized by music, music. Ashley's Ashley's ability on keyboard. So I don't really? even remember noticing. I don't even, how yeah, oh, I don't hear anything. I, I didn't, don't hear didn't anything. see her hands on the keys. All I, I wrote, know that she can play that. <laughs> yeah, there. Okay, I'm very confused. So, do they already have recording time? Right. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. won. And it's ten thousand dollars of recording time <laughs> because of a local Degrassi. Contest, yeah. Is and they're about to win. They're trying to win ten more thousand dollars of recording time. No, no, no. They're no, getting they ready. Already won it. Okay. Yeah. They're, okay. They're getting okay. ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I was recording. a little confused. I thought they were trying to play another battle of the bands to win ten more more money, but they have ten thousand dollars. That means, and seemingly, it's just one day, right? Yeah. It seems <laughs> like, like one hour. One hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That better be the best song ever for ten thousand dollars for like one hour. Is that Listen make sense? As <laughs> two people, two people in this podcast own recording studios, and it's me and Rick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would in my studio be three months of solid work. <laughs> yeah. <feel> like. <laughs> Oh my God, that's insane! insane. I, I didn't even realize it was ten thousand dollars. Well, because I watched this episode twice, because I was like, "Let me just see if I'm clear on some of these details that they're throwing at me." <laughs> ten thousand dollars one day. What did What did Jimmy really add to the band? That's what I'm saying. Hear, he he was second guitar, and he wasn't that good. No, no, no. I think he is the. Matt Sharp to Craig, you know, Matt Sharp to Rivers Cuomo, or no, that's uh, Michael Anthony to Van Halen. He's the the tastemaker. He's like, oh, boy. Ah. no, 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 no. Wait, but he didn't the play Chiefs bass. That Marco's playing bass. I, those are just bad examples that happen yeah. to be bass players. Yeah, but the, the same role, like Matt Sharp reeled Rivers Cuomo in. Hannah, who's Matt Sharp? He's reeled Rivers Cuomo in. I don't know how we could be any more clear. <laughs> <laughs> he was a teach to Rivers Who, Cuomo. Chong. Who's Michael Anthony, Hannah? Michael Anthony was one of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to trick oh, me. Boy. I know a lot more than you oh, think. I love it. That is so good. I thought you would know the the Matt Sharp because there's no way it said Rivers Cuomo. Who's Rivers Cuomo? Rivers Cuomo. <laughs> He's the governor of New York, or the exactly. former the, the former governor of New York. Come on, Mike. <laughs> he was in he was in Stand by Me. He passed away. Oh yeah, River Phoenix. 
No. Rivers Cuomo. Rivers Cuomo. Rivers Cuomo, Hannah, is the lead singer for the band Weezer. Oh, that's right. I bet maybe I would have gotten there uh, next week if I had thought about it a long time. Long time. Long you, time. Hannah. Oh, God, if, what? If, if Bad Boy was holding... <laughs> if, Bad, <laughs> if Bad Boy was holding open auditions... Oh, okay. Okay, and uh, you needed a drummer, and Spinner was the drummer. Oh. Would you hire him? Um... Based on vibes alone, no. <laughs> he can't. He comes in with like a bucket of terrible attitude. Um, he can't play. He can't no. play. Nobody can really play except for Craig. And this episode, I was like, can Craig play? Ashley's the only one that really uh, has to. Yeah, Ashley. And I'm going to say, should have kept Marco on accordion. <laughs> I love he, the accordion. He was shredding. He's really shredding good. Shredding on accordion, yeah. Italiano. That's why. Is I don't that understand why they only think the racist? only person that they could get is Jimmy. Like, couldn't they just find someone else to play second guitar? It's weird to me. Uh, agreed. Agreed. Moving ahead after opening credits, Rick, take um, it from there. Blast into Paige and Hazel talking. Mm-hmm. Um, Paige says the best line of the episode, which is Mr. S. There's gum on my chair. It's disgusting. <laughs> she's a star. This episode. Yeah, she she's is. a star. She is a star. Every uh, episode. That line is quickly put in the background because of Hazel's very bad acting. Yeah. Scene. It's uh, sorry, sorry, lady. You're bad. It's okay. I still love Hazel. Uh. Also, I love much. that she's like, yeah, Jimmy got shot. And then Paige is like, wait, hold on a second. I'm going to have sex with my teacher. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Student teacher. Student teacher. He, who I hate that guy. He looks so hate gross. Yeah. Oh, God. He I was like so upset that he actually didn't have sex with Paige in this episode. Because he was like, he's like the guy that would. He you know, is like, the guy like, that would. He's like the student teacher that. Like, didn't know what to do in college, so he became a teacher, and he's mm-hmm. like, oh, I can bang high school chicks? But the fact that he's 19, at least 19, and she's 16 should be, this storyline is no good. No, it's bad. Red flags everywhere. Plus, he I looks know. like Martin Shkreli. Oh, he does. Doesn't he? Look do, you like know who that is, King? do you know who that is, Hannah? Martin Shkreli? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> what is Martin Shkreli famous for? Uh, he played the Shkreli. Bad, bad guy. He's a bad, bad, bad guy. Oh. Bad guy. He's real, a, real life bad guy. Real life bad man in prison. Mm. Oh, that's no good. What did he do? <laughs> he Ponzi schemed a bunch of people through his pharmaceutical company. Uh, oh, he, right. I think. Okay. I think I and then he yeah. bought. He bought a one of one of a kind. Wu-Tang Wu-Tang for like three million dollars but he was also involved in like the emo scene like he worked with uh the singer of thursday jeff yeah. rickley um they had started a label and but jeff distanced himself yeah from well he started a label he was, he was the money person was, yeah the money person is um seems like a very nice guy very genuine yeah you should have partnered with him you kind of screwed up Wait, who's just gonna let this? Ah, I hate the yoga class too. Yeah, it sucks. The yoga class is weird. I'm like, what time of day is this? After school. I guess I'm it is. Af- it is after school because when Paige is like, I'm not gonna join a, the cult of yoga. To Hazel, Hazel's like, you should go to the yoga class after school. Yes, it's true. I heard it. Heard it and then in your, in, in really, your face, in your face, Hannah. And t- I'll take, oh, I'll never get over that one. Um, <laughs> who's Rivers Cuomo? Uh, Rivers Cuomo, I he's new, you know, New York. Um, <laughs> also, I could not stop looking at Marco's hair in this. Me too. Episode. I feel like it's the best it's ever looked. Though. Yeah, I kind of liked it. I was like, Which you is know, insane. You know, his hair looks like 
the 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 killer from Old Country from No Men in this episode. Old Country oh. from No Men. <laughs> you know no that. Country for no old Country men. for Old Men. <laughs> See, that's what's funny. Hannah knows any movie, and she knows yeah. exactly who we're talking about right I there. I know. Boom. Like I said gonna... that to Britton the car recently. I was like, I wish I knew just uh, lo- some about movies and some about music instead of nothing about music and way too much about movies. And she was like, that would be nice. <laughs> that, would, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think okay. this is the best as hair. Well, you know what? The sad thing is, you might be right. And he fixes it in this episode, which means he wants it to look that way. Yeah. <laughs> well, he succeeded, according to myself and Rick. And I think you. I think you're on board. You, you think it's the best it's ever looked? Well, up to this point, I, I found myself kind of going, eh. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Oh. But Paige, Paige, only reason Paige did the yoga class, which she was adamantly against, is because Martin Shkreli is the yoga teacher. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to jump to rehearsal in Joey Jeremiah's garage. We missed, Craig. We missed a very important thing. Okay, please. Jimmy and Craig talking at uh, the hospital about Craig getting back together with Ashley. Because they. Oh. oh, well, yeah. Which also feels on top of that this. Happened? Yeah. On top of that happening, is it's weird on multiple levels. One, you know, it's in the hospital and Jimmy's in seemingly good spirits. Two, that's his, that's both their ex girlfriend. Yeah. 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 That's I, just, I thought about that. It just seems weird. And Jimmy is very nonchalant about it. He's got bigger problems. Exactly. Yeah, Amen, he's, he's, I like I like that accent that happened there. He's got bigger problems. He's got bigger problems. He's not worried about that. <laughs> also, I think he's like, I'm not gonna date. He's like, I had my shot with Ashley. I thought she was too goth. Yeah. Oh, she's not too goth. This episode. Not anymore. If you were talking about this love triangle with with Ashley, let's just get move ahead to practice and put that to shame because who does Spinner show up with at practice? None other than Manny Santos. Santos. What a move. What a uh I just I love it. I love the tension. Did you hear the um the diss that Ashley made to Marco? Uh, it's very subtle when when she's like, yeah, it's a pretty good song. You're brilliant. Uh, I think we can spice up the bass line a little bit. And it cuts to Marco, and he's like, are, are you kidding me right now, lady? He just made a face like, yeah. Uh, you, it, yeah. you can't get a better bass line than this. Yeah. It's a little too simple. Which, yeah. Get him on accordion. You can yeah. Play you, can play the ba- you can play the bass with his left hand. Yeah. On in the accordion. Because that's how that works. Do you think he was really playing that accordion? No. No. Well, we should get him on here. Hannah, start. I'm going to look. I'll look at it uh, more in depth when we get to that point. But to emphasize this love triangle now with Spinner, Manny, and Craig, nothing is making sense. I, I just can't understand this at all. That Manny just wouldn't. I I forget it. I don't even know what to say. This With must this. have been like the easiest paycheck of all time for Cassie Steele because she is in this entire episode and she does not say anything. Yes. That being said, she does some amazing tambourine work in a little bit. She does amazing background acting yeah. and like, yeah, she made me laugh. Can't believe a you times. spoiled the tambourine part for everybody. Sorry. <laughs> what do you mean spoiled? <laughs> Is it, was, am I going to spoil the, it by saying that Manny calls the spinner sticks? Oh, yes. <laughs> sticks. He's so bad on drama. I like that he's got two nicknames now. Spinner and <laughs> sticks. <laughs> spinner was already a nickname. I, I don't understand. I'm like, Manny is such an in-depth, intelligent, emotionally strong character some episodes. And then other episodes, I'm like, wow, she's dumb. She's it's, so dumb. I feel like you're degrading her on her outfits. What do you mean? She had that cowboy hat on this outfit. Oh, gosh. It was a good... I I thought it was a great hat. (laughs) 
But immediately you're like, that person is dumb. That person doesn't make good decisions. Yeah. No. She does not make good decisions. Let's go to the movie theater with Alex and Paige. I, first of all, I love. I just love the thought that they're working at the movie theater. It makes me happy. Me too. I just imagine, even though I never worked at a movie theater, I can imagine it could be quite enjoyable with your peers, your teenage peers, just goofing around, eating popcorn, yeah. having a good time. Drinking soda. So, so what happens in this scene, Rick? Well, Paige is telling Alex that she wants to bone Olean. <laughs> And then out of the blue, like a real creep, Oleander shows up and Paige is taken aback. And then Alex basically is like, yeah, you should bone Mr. Allen Oleander. Yeah, if, if someone's going to tell you to do something <laughs> like that, it's going to be Alex. But I do like that she said you could be single for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so when when Shikrelli comes up to Paige... <laughs> You can see Alex in the background scooping out the popcorn and she's like turning back and like just smiling, just going, yeah. And I don't like that. I don't no. Like it. How well, do you think this that guy is, is supposed to be in this episode? Like not the actor in real life, but that character. 1920. Is that I, mean, I, I, I feel like he's a teacher. Because he uh, said he said one year older than uh Dylan. Is what? Uh, okay, and that's okay. probably in a future episode. That oh. yeah. so, so he like probably graduated. You no, know, he may have graduated college, high school, went to college, and he was 17, 17 18, 19. It's like so, he's getting like his student teaching requirements out two years in. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, and looking to catch a charge at the same time. Yeah, regardless, Man. inappropriate, inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course. We are going to I don't jump. like the way he touched, speaking of just going back, when he grabbed her back, when he was like touching her back in yoga, I didn't like that either. Warrior pose. That was my favorite part. What are you talking about? That was, oh, you, you nasty man. Have we gotten to Heather Sinclair yet, though? No, not yet. The only appearance. I loved it. The lore. Cowboy hat, Degrassi. It's good. It's Marco's okay. looking looking into the clear mirror, just the reflection of the clear mirror fixing his hair. You mean the window? <laughs> a clear window. Clear mirror. Did I say? Did I say mirror? Eh, could it could be. It could be a clear mirror. True. Yeah. This is this is when they're having the interview with Liberty, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. That that cowboy hat is like a looks like a costume blah, blah, cowboy hat. Yeah, it's like. She's rocking you ever it. seen that SNL episode when it's the Jeopardy episode and it's Burt Reynolds and he just puts on that cowboy, yes. that oversized novelty hat? It's a big cowboy that hat. That, hat. <laughs> that cowboy hat. I it's love big. the SNL Jeopardy. It's so good. Well. With Sean Connery. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. Why'd you so? Oh, R.I.P. to both Trebek and Sean Connery. Yeah. Oh, true. One Why of was he so people? mean? Why was he so mean to Trebek? Well, because he's a real life bad man. Is he? Yeah. Don Connery. He's it's good. He's been it's gone on record that he was like, well, sometimes uh, in a relationship you just have to smack your partner around a little bit to get them to get in line. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, look you, it up. You gotta be like next level bad to say that in an interview. Yeah. To be like, yeah. <laughs> That's and it's not, it's not, it was like unprovoked. So it's like, it's like, it happened. <laughs> it was like, like, it's anyways, like, James Bond. James Bond, have you ever smacked your partner up to get them in line? And he'd be like, eh, yeah. Glad that but, you had asked. I've been waiting. But I think it was like, a, the question was like, what's your, what's your advice to a healthy relationship? And Sean Connery is like, well, you got to smack your partner around a little bit. Uh, that's not Anybody, fun. anybody who believes that, Hannah. It's a bad person. Do you understand? I think I actually read, speaking of that, there was me and my friend had a joke because we, her dad had these really old Playboys. Sure. Uh, from like the 70s. And we were like reading them because there's like articles in them. And one of them I think was reading, Clint, huh? With Clint Eastwood and looking at the boobies. Um, but uh, 
it was Clint Eastwood who said, sometimes your woman gets bloody-minded and you have to set her straight. And me and my friend were like, bloody-minded? What does that even mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, I think that is in reference to uh, your monthly visitor. Yeah, the monthly invader. You have to set her straight. Ugh. I know. Horrible. But I still love that term, though. I was going to say something inappropriate, but I will stop myself. Liberty is interviewing the band, and Marco and Spinner can't get a word in. And then she takes the uh, photo for the yearbook. It's one of my favorite photos because Cassie Steele is in it, and Marco and Spinner. Well, Cassie Steele's cowboy hat is just in it. Yeah. You, You can see her. You can see her. Yeah. It's a sick photo. I love it. That's can a great. We, can, we, can we talk Scott about photo. how, in the interview, Liberty asked, "Any chance for some solo projects?" And Mar- Marco and Spinner both say, "Actually, we have Marco and I have a project together. I want to know what that project is." It's bad, it's, whatever it is. Accordion, accordion and drums. We get a taste. Also, of they're super up. pumped. They're not in that interview, but I was like, "What are they going to add realistically to that interview?" Well. Mar- Spinner could say, well, you remember how Jimmy got put in a wheelchair? I'd put him there. Would I have a scoop for you? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so now they're they're talking. When I say they, Marco and Spinner are talking to Craig about Ashley. Yeah. They want they want her out. It's either her or them. I just think they just they do need a fourth instrument. I think they're being a little rash. Uh, power trio, Hannah. If they were a power trio, yeah. You're in a power trio. Yeah, but uh, they're, they're not a power trio. <laughs> also, I don't know that I'm in a Oh, power they're, just trio. A, they're just a trio. Yeah. Is what they're you're just saying. three people. Hannah's in a quartet. So well, it's, it's got an all rotating fourth party. Got that? Got Knows that? I got it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll never say it again. <laughs> I like Spinner's hair. It's you, uh, it, <laughs> it's very of that time. Yeah, I'm bummed that I used to look exactly like Spinner for like eight years. With that, with that exact haircut. Yeah. yeah, when you met Hannah, she had that haircut. Yeah, that was me. That looked oh. like me. That was me. Hell yeah! I gotta Which? look back at some. Old Hannah photos. So what I used to do, people listening, Hannah, if you, if you didn't know, Hannah's in a band. They haven't really haven't done anything in the last few years, but it's a band that I work with called Bat Boy. And they were, they were so bad at social media. I asked, let me take over your social media. Yeah. So I just looked in Hannah's personal <laughs> Face photos book. and grabbed her photos and just made up stories. <laughs> As the band, I would say, like, Hannah here, here. <laughs> love wearing dresses. It's like a picture of Hannah when she's 12, like at a family wedding. And the funny thing is, sometimes I wouldn't even realize it until I would see the pictures and it would be like, I'd be like, oh, my God, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much fun doing that. Hannah, I did a bunch, like Hannah here. Yeah, that was great. Girl, girl, girls night out. <laughs> my favorite time or something like that. Good. That was but at that at that meeting with uh, with um, Craig, they were, I think they were also discussing: Are they dating? Are you guys dating? And he's like, No, heck no. But yeah. the next scene, Craig does what? Rick. He po- he places uh, unwarranted an awkward kiss on Ashley. And very and unreciprocated. She, and she walks away in shock. His As lips she do kind of like, yeah. Um, for Her the lips. listeners at home, he's kissing. She's yeah. not kissing. He's, he's, he's not, very not well away. should have been kissing a mannequin. He could have he, been kissing a mannequin. Exactly. Exactly. And then later he's like, we're dating. And I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I like it when he's like, listen, guys, I can't fire her. Like, I couldn't kiss her, then fire her. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Ashley when she does walk away. She does two look backs. I, I was like, if it. she does a third one, I'm going to scream. 
I kind of thought it would just continue down the hallway and she would just keep turning around. <laughs> well, maybe that maybe that's the neutron dance. Oh. 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 You found you found the link. Great. Secret Good job. Secret. Do you think uh Spinner likes going to the dot when he's not working cuz it is that the only place the kids hang out? Yeah. The dot. So yeah. In the ravine. In the ravine, yeah. I mean, he probably gets free food. The owner is probably like, this kid is so poor. Let's get him free food. Oh, I don't know about that. He probably gets a discount, but he probably gets a five-finger discount also. Oh. You know what he I mean? He eats the food off the plates while he's washing the dishes. Oh, I forgot about that. I used to do that all the time. Like, yeah. I used to do it, too. Everyone has done it. Hey, I have. yeah. You never worked in a restaurant. No. If you worked but you used to do it. You used to do it at like a Denny's when somebody's food would be done. You would just go over and start eating it. Though. Well, yeah. I would do the pizza parlors. Yeah. If someone left their pizza and it's, you know, it's like a whole pie and like there's a two pieces left. Oh yeah. yeah. We just oh my go God, out and guys. Eat it. I guess I would do that too. Oh heck yeah! It's awesome. So it's what winners do. It's what winners do. It's, I, it's awesome. <laughs> I wanted. Go ahead to um, Ellie packing up Sean's apartment. So I guess she's stuck with the job of moving. Yeah, she's stuck with the job of moving, and she also has to take over the rent. That's that's true. Nice. That's what she said. Just like, yeah, that's just, what know, she like, said. Sean stuck me with the rent, but also she has to pay for all of the shipping that's of all this stuff back to him, which seems that's crazy. Costs so much money. Yeah. What does he need there? What does he have? Hubcaps? He's got a chocolate milk. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate milk? cake. <laughs> Hubcaps. Hubcaps. I love that. <laughs> that was such a weird, like, little diversion of just yeah. that scene. There had to yeah. been, like, a contract with uh, Stacy Farmer that's like, I need to be in X amount of episodes, and they were coming up short. Like, there's, there's no re- need for that scene. Interesting. Yeah. I'd like to find out if if that is actually fact that yeah. some of the bigger characters. I bet I bet it's probably factual. Maybe that's why Manny was in this whole episode. Sure, sure. <sighs> but she deserves it. She does deserve it. We're back at the dot. Ashley and Craig talking about what happened. Let's talk about what happened, Ann. Um. Yeah. So. Craig's like, you sent me a text in all caps. And I was like, God, I want to know what that text said in all caps. Um, we need to talk. Get to the dot. Meet me at the dot. Meet me at the dot or I'll freak out. Um, and basically he's like, yeah, so what happened? And she's like, you know what happened? You kissed my cold, dead lips. Um, <laughs> and uh, she's like, I don't. I think we should be friends. And he's like, definitely. Um, and then she's like, at least we still are in a band together, not knowing Craig once is going to fire her. Awkwardness. Awkwardness. Okay. Did we skip over Heather Sinclair's trashy roots? Yeah. Is this the one? At first I thought she said trashy boobs. Oh, that'd been good too. This, is this the one sighting of Heather Sinclair? I believe so. Okay. And I love it. This is for the yoga part. You yeah. Skip over. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Paige, is, Paige is jealous. That yeah. This, but Claire. That, this might be the most important part of the episode. That's true. It is. Let's, let's discuss. Because what, feeling Heather. Yeah. yeah feeling Heather. Not at the moment when you first saw this episode many years ago, but after many decades of watching Degrassi. And seeing her, going back and seeing her, what do you feel? Emotions. I mean, I just couldn't believe that she was in front of me. It was like yeah. I was watching a ghost. I yeah. And like we almost see her face too. I was like, that's not who I was picturing every time they brought her up. I yeah I yeah I was expecting a, a brunette. Wow. Is she? Oh. Is Holly J her sister? Yeah. Okay. I was expecting someone with like big, kind of like teased blonde hair <laughs> who had like, who was like tall and like a little ugly. I, 
I think it is who I thought. It's very close to what I thought she would look like, to be just, honest. Just a little blonde bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what that's what I thought. I guess so. so. We I never do. we we don't see her face, right? We don't see no, her face, or we no, do. No. no. Okay. Yeah. God, They've been talking I about her for four it. seasons so far, and they yeah. never stop. They never stop talking about her, right? No. They don't, yeah, I, and like I love it. Why this episode? Why why not pepper her in? <sighs> yeah, but I, I love that they don't show the face. Yeah. yeah. I also, Hannah, I would like to also mention that on your most recent TikTok, I love the Heather Sinclair reference on the uh, the book. Yeah. So many Easter eggs. So many that little Easter eggs. That's don't what pearls. The don't appreciate. Line. I feel like I I may have. Steered you in a uh, in a direction that is losing you TikTok followers. Oh, the thing is, <laughs> I've been thinking about it obsessively. I'm like, God, I'm having so much fun, and no, people are not. Um, <laughs> but they people, are the people who some of them are, are watching the, it. Yeah, the die. I, I feel like I feel like I read the comments. I never read your comments, and everybody was stoked. So I was like, all yeah. right, these one person was like, I wish you would stop doing this, and I was like, it's only one. There was only one, Anna. One. I know. I'm insane, though. I'm like, that person is the only one telling me the truth. <laughs> Hannah, come on, bruh. Stay the course. Stay the I course. I can't turn back now. What am I going to do to stop doing it? I we can't. need to post this on... We should be posting this stuff on Instagram and Facebook so it, it reaches a, a more concise Degrassi audience. Yeah. And I, I can post it on the Degrassi groups. On Facebook, there's I a good one. There is a way, which I guess that, that there is. Well, this is talk for this is shop well, talk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shop. Most people, most people don't crop the size. Most people just keep it vertical mm-hmm. when they put it on YouTube. It's just a thing. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's your job, Hannah. Start the saga of the doll. Canada, oh, the I drinking see. age is is what Rick nineteen. 19. So Paige and Hazel have fake IDs that they're 19. And the doorman or the, the security guard, it could have been me. I could have played this guy. I just need to shave my head. Well, he's a little more buff. I'm not saying that you're not buff. I'm saying that guy is a little meatier. I also love that Hazel goes, Do you think they have yoga in prison? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a- Hazel kind of cracked me up this episode sometimes. Just sad. Not really committing to any of her lines. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when they see Mr. Oli or Martin Scarelli, um, he is so depressed looking. He is like just like so sad drinking that beer. Yeah, because his he's hair. in love with a minor and his no, girlfriend is no, there no, that no, he doesn't no. like. He did it. He was sad pre them showing up. Yeah, because he's with his girlfriend that he doesn't love because he's thinking no. about age. No. It's it's his life is a ruin. No, oh. no. He, he, he's like, I do not want to be a teacher. He's like, I don't want to be a serial killer, but I am. Yeah. 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 I think you're way off. There, There is also no, so no world that he would not immediately call up Snake and be like, yo, there's two students at this bar like the way he double take at them yeah that was super weird also i love watching um like bar scenes in tv shows and movies just to see what happens and i love that his girlfriend is like one red wine (laughs) (laughs) i'd be like what are you talking about what kind and shirley temple for the the lady who's for the kids who's got school tomorrow i know what a narc yeah True, true, I like true, that she true. Knew immediately that they were underage. That they had a crush yeah. on. Yeah, Charlie is a. Uh, she's very receptive. She's very observant. She knew is, that they were underage and that Paige had a crush on him. Is Charlie going to be on your show with Melanda? My spinoff. I don't know that um, I loved Charlie as much as I loved Melanda and I mean, uh, Amy. Wasaga Beats. Uh, Wasa- Wasa- Wasega. Wasega. Was- they all they all moved to Wasega. Wasega Beach does sound like just primed and pumped and ready to go. It's like its own idea. That's my only inspiration to be on the level of Jeff Bezos so I can provide money to Hannah to do the Wasega Beach. 
Even those like <laughs> those extras who aren't acting anymore. Well, a retroactive just, spinoff. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah. they're not acting. Melanda. It's, it's like a retroactive spinoff reboot of a show that didn't exist. <laughs> Bringing back characters that weren't that important. I think it's genius. Maybe I'm the only one that would think so. Yeah, well, so even if they said, like, heck no, I'm not doing that. You know, I have a, I'm a, a PhD. I'm a, a chemist well, then at the university. Well, they dollars. Exactly. Zero. More yeah. than that. Like, whatever it takes. And they're like, yeah. $20 million. Like, yeah. Yeah, drive a dump truck of money up to their house. Fly, fly, flew to outer space. How much did Bezos spend on going oh, to outer space? It was like a billion or something. Billion, yeah. Drop twenty I, million easily. I read this interview with uh, Sigourney Weaver when she did Alien Four, and they were like, "Why did you do this movie?" And she was like, "They drove a dump truck of money up to my house." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Manny just enjoys playing the tambourine so much. She's good. She's good. I feel like a tambourine. The tambourine is hard to play. Mm-hmm. Right. And you think you think she's good? I would. I think she's good. I think she's good. Okay. Well, she's got. She has a she's rhythm. A rhythm. She's she's a musician. Okay. But yeah. it's not. It's not. It's not all about that though. There's. It's. It's a hard. It's hard to. Um, yeah, I can't. Do, I've tried it in the studio. I'm always like a hair off. You know who's super good at tambourine? Kevin Higuchi. Yeah. Jeff yeah. Rosen. Jeff AJ. Rosen stuff. A- AJ, oh, a- AJ from Slow Gurken. Wow, so how do you even know that? He played tambourine on that uh, brain scramble device song that you did. Oh. oh, sick. And I got the track. I was like, damn, AJ. Damn, he's good. <laughs> that tambourine, though. <sighs> recording studio. We are here at the recording studio, and Marco Later. has his uh, <laughs> accordion out. Everyone's confused. It's just basically chaos. Everyone's yeah. angry at each other. There's chaos. Uh, Manny's there <laughs> with that damn J Lo outfit hat. I hate that hat. I like the I cowboy love hat so much that better. Hat. You love the pink poofy hat. Anything? Oh no, I thought you meant the cowboy hat. Yeah, the, no, the cowboy hat was good. Hat. This now she's got the J Lo hat. It's like the, the Kangol, the, the the velvet Kangol hat. Oh yeah, Manny loves a hat. She always has. So Marco and I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but when they take a five, Marco and uh, Spinner are like, I guess we'll go get some free food. Do you think the studio costs ten thousand dollars a day for the free food? It's like, well, it's like a wolf game, had, wolf game buck puck studio. Have you been to like a top tier studio? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're usually. I, I know like about a, the calf. I know about the calf. Yeah, but I. I the biggest studio I've been to is like Fantasy Studios, and yeah, and it was just like like fruit and bagels and stuff. So yeah. it wasn't like anything fancy. So that's what I'm assuming they're yeah. going to eat. When I when I went to Sunset, it was bagels and you know baked goods. But then you call it bagels. Bagels. It's a problem. It's a problem. <sighs> talk to <laughs> Jessica. Jo- talk to Jessica or any of my friends about it. They know. They this is kind of exasperating. Are you say bagels? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't like hearing you say bagels. I don't want to Sorry. hear. I'm not going to talk about it. You say they bagels. Are, you say baked goods. Baked goods. <laughs> <laughs> bagels and baked goods. <laughs> Mystifying. I also say backpack real weird. Apparently. What word do you say? Backpack. Oh, what did you say? How do you say it? Backpack. Backpack. backpack? backpack? That's- that backpack? sounds right. Backpack. I I'm say gonna backpack. backpack. Yeah. I'm gonna go put some bagels in my backpack. Oh boy. How do you say? <laughs> how do you say? Crayon. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Hey, speech therapist Anna Eagle. I say crayon, but I know people who say crown. Oh whoa, oh, that's whoa. weird. Mm-hmm. Ashley's been okay. fired from the band. Yeah. yeah. They were three piece, and they're playing. Even though they have ten thousand dollars of recording, they're playing live in the studio. <laughs> they're playing live with live vocals. With, with yeah, with live vocals and right next sounds, to the drums. Listeners, this would horrible. not work. It would it's, not work for a ten thousand dollar recording. Sounds horrible. I thought that spinner sounded all right. This I'm strictly song talking isn't about done. This song Craig's has vocals. one verse. 
Well, he's having, a, he's having a mental breakdown in the middle of the song. Staring yeah, he's at looking that empty, at the It's the not keyboard. the middle. That's the end. That's staring the end at of the song. empty chord Triton LE in front of him. Oh, dear. I don't like it. So he, he leaves mid song. He does. And yeah. Do you guys like that song? Gone. No, it's a terrible no. song. Bad, it's right? Do you think if you were a member of Neutral Milk Hotel or Death Cab for Cutie and you read that <laughs> article that was like, you heard this song, you were like, In the uh, we, Gazette. We, we got to stop playing music. This, we're ruining music. Neutral Milk Hotel. Craig does like- my number one pet peeve in the studio that I hate the most. Do you Which know what is? that is? I don't. When you're done with the take and you take your headphones off and then you throw them around the microphone that you're singing into. I hate it so much. Oh. That's not the place to put it. That's not the place to put it. Where's the place? Literally anywhere else. The ground. The ground would be great. Oh. But you've just thrown something on a potential... (laughs) ten thousand dollar piece of equipment and it must be expensive because this studio is no fucking joke i'll tell you this that studio would be two hundred dollars a day maybe i love those two guys looking at the glass looking at the gear looking at the gear that they have in this room those two guys listening to the shitty song like uh the thumbs up the thumbs up from the engineer yeah (laughs) it's good are we done can you believe gonna, you're getting paid ten thousand dollars for this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the finish line. Right. To the finish line. Craig finds Ash. They proclaim their love for each other. They kiss. Freeze frame. Episode is over. Craig That's doesn't it. deserve everything that he gets. What uh, starring role in Spider-Man the musical? Oh, well, no, he that was, he deserves. He he wasn't the star. He was the. Uh, the backup, the, the oh, villain, in the, case uh, the star. Understudy. 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 That's it. Understudy. But that's it. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys next week. Um, I today is uh, Labor Day here in the U.S., so I'm going to. Oh yeah. My family's going to the beach right now, so we're going to go. I'll talk Thank to you guys you. next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. You're going to the beach.